guys. Um, today, I just wanted to show you one of the types of reactions that we're going to be talking about. Um, this is a single replacement reaction, and it is with magnesium. So I have a little piece of this magnesium metal, and my other um, reactant is copper chloride solution. So if you're in class, we're going to talk about this reaction in class, and I'll do this little demonstration for y'all in person. Um, so I have put a little piece of uh, magnesium metal in this test tube. This one has a piece of silver. And then I have um, a small beaker of this copper chloride mixed with a tiny bit of water. So we're just gonna see what happens, okay? So I'm gonna use my dropper. So first I'm putting it in the test tube with the magnesium. Okay, so that's in there. I'm gonna bring it a little closer so y'all can see what's happening. So I have some bubbles happening. It's kind of covering the um, magnesium metal right now. It's bubbling. I'm gonna add a little more copper chloride to see that. So here's this reaction. You can see bubbles. There's bubbles all over the piece of magnesium. I'm going to leave that there and we'll come back to it. This one is silver, so let's add our copper chloride. Copper chloride is toxic. It's mildly toxic. It's harmful. And that's why I'm wearing these safety goggles. I'm going to make sure to wash my hands good when I'm done. Okay, so in this test tube, I have copper chloride and silver. Let's see here. Nothing's really happening, no bubbles, nothing. Okay, so here's this reaction again. There's my magnesium, it is covered in bubbles right now. So I'm gonna give that a little bit and I will post a picture of what that looks like when the reaction is done happening. Um, on your um, reaction part two notes, I actually talk about um, these two reactions. So the reason why silver is not reacting and magnesium is, is because of that activation series table. Magnesium is higher up on that table than copper. And that's why in the reaction, single replacement, the magnesium and the copper are switching places. Okay. On the reactivity series, um, silver is below copper. So because it's below, it's not gonna switch. There's not gonna be a reaction formed with copper chloride. That's why we have a reaction here. We have no reaction here, okay? So that's just how that activity series works. The higher up on the activi activity series, the more likely it's going to, the metal will switch with the metal that's underneath it, okay? So that's this reaction. I'm gonna post a photo of what this looks like when it's done. If y'all have questions, email me and let me know. Bye guys.